Hello everyone, it's me Evan, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we're looking at uh, the pride and joy of the KMC Navy, and that is the Moth Frigate. This sucker is tough, and I really do mean tough. She can take an absolute beating and still keep kicking. Um, we've got, if I just sort of peel back the, the layers here, or actually, let's just do it. Let's just do a, a nice chop cross section just to show you what, what I'm talking about here. Right. Get a nice slice through. Oh, yeah, she's also loaded for uh, survival combat. Anyhow, um, you can see. of armor uh, and then this is our hydrogen tank right here right in the core of the ship very heavily protected um, good luck getting anything through this way you know good luck getting anything through this way you're going through very big thruster hit boxes you got to get through layers of heavy armor and then of course the final boss is this blast door cube surrounding it um, Nigh on impervious. I've never had the ship uh, get this. I've never had this taken out really before the entire ship is in shambles anyway. So it's it's quite potent. I believe in the front we might have some. You can see we got blast like a blast door wall here to sort of partition off the front. Um, some gyroscopes in there too. Not as many as I might add in future versions, but obviously some gyroscopes is better than none. Uh, if we further look around, I mean, it's just a lot of this is armor, but a lot of it's also guts. I build my ships around big thrusters like this, so mobility on these ships is rather high for their weight class anyhow. Um, you can see we got two in up, side, and side. We have four pointing forwards here. Pretty good. Uh, it has a very decent acceleration. We've got one pointing up and one pointing backwards. The way that this ship is armored is basically the f entire front area of it can take at least one full salvo of artillery. The front area here can take a lot more, obviously, but like even protecting these areas here artillery is just going to damage a couple blocks because this is all heavy armor on the front facing parts of the ship um, and of course the heavy armor has been placed more wisely than in previous versions like the mark one because there used to be like these big armor plates here like I think this whole rear armor section used to be heavy and now it's just like a thin strip here to protect it from angled fire coming in towards the engines um, much better optimized armor. These artillery turrets will stay in action for uh, basically until the ship is bricked um, because they're so far back on the ship. They hardly ever get targeted. It's very nice. Uh, you've got some maintenance access here. So if we kind of squeeze through, you can get into the bowels of the ship. Well, not the bowels so much, it's just like the rear engineering sections that you can't access from the interior most of the time. There used to be a rocket turret here, but obviously since it's on the back, it's not terribly useful being there. So that part is uh, that part got removed in the Mark V. It was in the Mark IV, but then I ended up taking it off. So we've also got rocket turrets, four of them. One, two, three. Four. They're quite nice for when you get into that sort of close range knife fight and you really just want to punch their lights out. These things are brilliant for that. Um, and of course our assault cannons here on the front. And then for our fixed battery we've got four artillery. One, two, three, four. Two armored cameras. A little camera that sits there for backup. And of course this 
battering of uh, interior turrets around just to help protect the ship. We've got a little cargo chute here, which is rather nice to have. Um, two docking ports, although they kind of... They're, they're a little too far in. Because, like, this turret... I, I do this all the time. The rocket turrets are always what stops you from docking with other flat ships. Because it sticks out, but anyhow. Uh, yeah, so you can connect up. You know, connectors there. Um... Let's move on to the interior before I get too carried away. Here on the bridge, we've got our airlock there. It's open, but you can see. Yep, yeah, and we're pressurized, so. Little bridge windows here. Obviously, you can't really see forward with this, but because of the way that I have it built, it's still a very protected bridge, even though it's technically exposed, so you can see out. It's nice. Um, doesn't get knocked out too much. If we go in here, you can see we've got this little fork. We've got our gravity gen. Our survival kit, one of two. Our other survival kits right here. And this is sort of the cryo. We've got two cryos. Uh, armory lockers. And another locker here. As well as some parts racks. Where did the pressurization go? I'll have to fix that later. I think I know what's causing it too. I think it's because I used these. Yeah, probably. Anyhow, um, this room here, you can see we've got beds one, two, three, four. Windows to see out into the great abyss little jukebox here, mostly for the alarm system, and a shower, bathroom combo, little kitchen, uh, lots of storage access inside these rooms, and of course we've got assembler access on the way through this corridor, which is rather nice. Pretty modest interior overall, but I'm very happy with at least having an interior on a ship this size that is actually this good at doing what it does. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, this, this ship makes me very happy. You can see she's got, you know, pretty decent movement and and all that, so yeah. Nice little well-armored ship with a fair amount of mobility, so really happy with her. She's my best, she's my, she's my baby. And uh, yeah, I'll just conclude this review by saying I'll be uploading this Mark V to the workshop there will be a link in the description below to download her off the, off the workshop. And uh, stay tuned. Next time, we're going to be looking at the Ladybug, which is the sort of drone carrier of my, my fleet. So stay tuned for that. And uh, on that note, I will see you guys later. Ta-ta.